Are you looking to curate all of your videos in an application like Microsoft Teams or potentially Microsoft SharePoint? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps of creating channels in Microsoft Stream. Hello everybody and welcome back to EdTech in the Classroom. My name is Jeff Bradbury from the TeacherCast Educational Network. And in this video, we are gonna talk about a brand new channel that we're gonna be using with our video tutorials that we created in our previous videos. Now, if you're looking to find all of our back catalog on all about Microsoft Stream, we're gonna leave all the links below or you can certainly hit that channel button up at the top. We would love to have you guys subscribe and make TeacherCast part of your professional development network. So here we are in Microsoft Stream, we've got our video. And as you can see from our last video series, we added our question in the form of a Microsoft form to make this an interactive video. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to click over here on these three dots. And you can see I have a menu here that where I'm going to click on update video details. And you can see here the next thing I want to do is I want to change my permissions. Now, right now, this video is available to anybody in my company, which really does mean my school district. But down here, it says, who do I want to share this video with specifically? Now, we can say specific teachers, we can create a class. What I want to do is I want to create a channel where I can curate all of these videos, maybe it's all on a specific topic or a chapter because I want to take this in my next video and I want to put this into an application like Microsoft Teams. So over here, I'm going to click on share with my channel and it says search for channels. Now, I don't have any channels yet, so I'm going to click on create a channel and I'm just going to call this channel chapter one. Pretty easy, right? I can also have a channel description. Now, what do I want? Do I want to access this as a group channel or do I want to make this a company wide? I'm just going to make this a company wide channel. It's just easier for me. And of course, if I want to, I can always add a custom channel image. Let's do that now. So here we have a nice image of our teacher cast logo and I'm going to hit create. And now you see we have this not only in our chapter one channel, but also it's available to myself and our entire company or our school district. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit apply. And so now here we have our video. It automatically plays. You can see that we have our form here. And this is how we take our video and we put it into a channel. In our next video, we're going to show you how to take this video and video channel and embed it into Microsoft Teams. Stick around for that. And of course, we love it if you guys have subscribed to this video. Click on that bell button and let your friends know that we have some great videos here over on TeacherCast. And that wraps up this video on behalf of everybody here in the TeacherCast Educational Network. My name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students. Hey guys, Jeff here. If you like this video, once again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, smash anything that you want on the screen, and please leave a comment below. We would love to have you guys check everything out today right here on the TeacherCast Educational Network.